Are you trying to figure out how to make YouTube thumbnails? For my returning subscribers, I say thank you. If you are new to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you are able to get all the notifications whenever I post a new video. Welcome to my, new, to my YouTube channel. My name is Matt Victor and today I will be taking you through the process of making YouTube thumbnails. YouTube thumbnails are the first things that a person will see when browsing through YouTube. It is usually a small and clickable static image that will grab the attention of the potential viewer when they are scrolling through YouTube. Since they grab attention, they are important when creating YouTube videos. No matter how great your content is, you need a thumbnail. So thumbnails, you will realize that when you are uploading videos, give you suggestions on it, may it not serve you well. That is why it's important to come up with something that will grab the attention of the YouTube viewers and communicate what your video is all about. Since thumbnails determine whether people will click on your video or not, it's very important when designing it. Designing a professional YouTube thumbnail will help you in improving the brand of your channel. It will also attract visitors as more eyes will be able to see your content. So, when making ideal thumbnails, these are the recomm recommendations. Always make use of the right thumbnail size. According to YouTube, the dimension should be between 280 should be 280 times 720 pixels an aspect ratio of 16 to 9 is ideal since this is what youtube used for most previews do not make a thumbnail that is too small eh? thumbnail should be big enough for everyone to see always ensure that you save the thumbnail as a jpeg gif bm b mp or png image format the file format should be less than 2 MB limit. When you're customizing a thumbnail, make sure that you use a great photo as a YouTube thumbnail. Strong visual will tend to grab the attention of the viewer. High quality image will act as a teaser to the video and to be able to give the context and opportunity for the audience to familiarize with your video. Always remember to include the title text. Adding the title text in your YouTube thumbnails will give the viewers the context about your video and also capture the core idea of your video. And with this, you will be able to stroke and back. This one will give you at least an idea of how to, of how to design. I will log in using my I'm logged in. Now we can begin the process. You can see when you are at canvas the various the various ways in which you can do this. You can you can design your Instagram post, logos, posters, Facebook post and thumbnail. So this is where I want to be. So I will click there. And as you can see, there's a black presentation. You can always create your, your thumbnail from zero. Or there are already certain templates which you can always just customize depending with what you want. So here are some of them. So I will go to my YouTube channel go to my youtube channel and go straight away to my my account and as you can see some of my videos do not have thumbnails others do have thumbnails i've actually begun the process of putting the thumbnails today so some are yet to be updated 
So I will go for this one since most since these other ones I've already designed a template for them. So I want to make a thumbnail for this video. So I will come here and try to I can use this. I can customize that. Safaricom is one of the leading telecommunication companies in Kenya, so its color is usually green. So you can first you can begin by customizing that. Green. Green. Okay. So need to change that to green. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think even for that, I think that's better. Now I can go ahead and say rather just type in here to make sure that i maintain the design ends and everything so i can say cow Resize that. Scanning. Try to create it with the title. Scanning. Scanning. Safari call users. We can, we can get rid of that. it bigger you can bring it here and you can see this is just an example of a design that I've made if you want to download it you can just go here since I want a JPEG file um, just to download it so once I've done that I can go to my video edit once I've it once I come here I can always come to upload thumbnails so I can do that and save so you can see it's done it's coming safari commissa so people browsing through the internet are more likely to click on this new video with a new thumbnail as compared to the previous one that didn't have one so these are some of the things that it's very very important for you to do another another platform that i will recommend that you use is snapper.com snapper.com is another great avenue but unfortunately it has got only like four it has got like only four four downloads in a month so you might be forced to go premium 
but you can always utilize it. Again, when it comes to this, you can again create a thumbnail from scratch by clicking here. If you have an image or something, you're going to, to upload that image, the background image. You simply need to come here. You will download. You can create patterns there. They're already pre-downloaded sites for you which you can utilize or well, let me like this this one on on George Floyd well, let me choose this one no still not contended I'm actually doing this thing for the first time that is why now let's say you have selected that as the background image you can always choose a pattern that you desire uh -huh. you can upload the image that you want you can select the background color that you want so this is all up to you you can reposition the image on the position it by doing this then just press on apply you're going to cancel that you can add effects blur darkening saturation hue contrast and all that kind of things you have got also the graphics maybe you want to add something you can only select that you want to add a text you can click there to add a subheading you can always come here just to add a body text and once you have done that you can always again go back to just customize it further but if you are really new what you need to do just go pick one of the themes that you feel is in in line with one of your video like let's say this let me let me assume that I'm, I have a video on how to write good content I'll simply come here and edit this good content how to create good content I could capitalize on that if I need to change colors, I can do that. Let's say green. There is always a way. If I need to change that to maybe that, I can do that. If I need to change this I can if I need to remove the background image oh well, that one is premium it requires me to remove it so I just have to play along with that and I can download the image oh I had already downloaded four that's why it's it's giving me this error that can always wait or you can always use another account just to create thumbnails on this platform thank you for watching